This is Shelly Thor, and I'm about to peep in on my dad working with his rum. Hey. Hey, what you up to over there? I'm gonna, about to paint a picture in rum. Really? How using does that rum. process happen? Well, it's using rum as paint instead of being like normal people and just painting with ink or paint. This is a very magical technique where you can take rum, which is one of the oldest uh, beverages of the pirates and all of adventures of the past, adventurers of the past, and um, we're going to try to paint or sketch with it the same way that uh, the Michelangelo or Leonardo used to use ink, you know, like brown ink to sketch. I thought, what happens if we create a story and we say, let's say we're on a, a pirate ship or we're somewhere where we don't have ink and we want to create a document of something. Well, rum was available on the old pirate ships and places uh, of days of old. And I found out that what would be kind of fun is if you take rum and pretend it's the only thing we had to create a picture with. That um, you can actually do a pretty interesting thing with it. And the, here, so just watch. Just watch what, what I do. <laughs> do you think I'm crazy yet? Mm -hmm. uh, do you, Chelsea? Of course. That's my daughter, Chelsea, and she has watched me paint and draw since she was a baby, and she knows that I have been uh, into a lot of mischief all these years uh, creating things. Right. You see my little stoppers that I made? You like those? See, they're little skull stoppers, and one is dark rum. That's dark rum, and that is light rum stopper. Like, see that? <laughs> see, everything has to have a personality in my studio. So, here we go. The first thing I do, I'm going to paint just because we're on kind of a, an old pirate skull theme. This is an old Trader Vic's pirate mug that they used to sell flaming hot drinks in. And I found that that works really great. And so, you take a little of this 151 rum, like that, and you Correct with the skull like this, you see. Alright, there we go. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna light that rum if I can find what I do with my lighter. Let's see what I do with my lighter. There's let's see if there's a lighter behind here. See that? Let's see let's see what's behind it. There's a cat behind here, but that's not gonna light my rum. I don't know if you can see it. Now, come on, come on. <laughs> but this rum is a burning. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. And what's happening is all the alcohol is starting to come out of the rum. And what, hap what also happens is as it burns, the rum gets darker because um, it gets more condensed. And all the sugars and all of the, dar the, um, the sediments of the rum start to become more concentrated. All right, I'm going to move this cat and the <laughs> rum over. <laughs> Can you get a shot of the cat behind there? Move around here. This is my helper. And that is the only way that this rum, this uh, palette is not falling off, or this uh, easel is not falling off the edge of the table, is because I have a counterweight, or ballast, as they used to call it in the old pirate days. <laughs> in the form of a cat. Let's do a quick little skull and a... Uh, <laughs> oh, there you are. Let's do a, th a quick little skull and a, and a bottle or something like that, okay? Everything I do when I sketch in rum is just something that you would do that's fun. It's not, I'm not too concerned about creating a masterpiece uh, detailed painting like I do in the other things. What I'm doing is I'm just doing stuff that I would have painted as a little boy, you know, at the kitchen table when I'm trying to think of adventure and things that are fun. And this can be very crude at this point because a lot of the gesture and the personality will come out in the rum. And let's say 
that there'll be a shadow maybe coming off the skull here. And behind the skull, let's say we've got a, a little bottle of rum. Now, normally, an artist of, the, of old would have taken a bottle of ink, either India ink or brown sienna ink or squid ink, and they would have started to create the, the sh shadows. Now, oh, my rum's going... I heard a clinking in here. I hope my... Ooh! <laughs> there we go. Uh, that means we're starting to get down into the good stuff. <laughs> Ooh, did you hear that? It sounds like uh, this is... When you do that, it almost sounds like the uh, skull is starting to laugh. Can you come a little bit closer? And get <laughs> I, can. I call that the, the the skull giggle. Watch. Wait. Isn't that weird? That's creepy. It's almost like it starts to go. <laughs> and that's what adds so much fun and mystery to this. Is I have so much fun painting in rum. It's not even funny. Inside this old Trader Vic's rum jug is also a brown sediment all on the inside where it starts to burn on the edges. You see that kind of ring in there? I don't know mm -hmm. if you can actually see that, but that's where it's all caramelized and creating a dark brown um, sediment. And I can dip my brush into that and get some real dark, dark areas while the other area in there is going to be kind of our medium brown. <laughs> One more little skull giggle because what happens is that's what brings that brown rum up to the up the edge and uh, allows us to uh, get those darks. Okay, ready to pull that one up. Okay, now let's get into this rum here and see how we're doing. We'll look at, see, how, see that nice little brown get on that edge there? This is just amazing. I don't know why people everywhere are getting them. What do you think so far? Are you, does this make you excited about Running uh, uh, in the other room and painting with rum? Yeah. Or another uh, food product? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Now, rum is the magical, <laughs> magical, mysterious rum. Cut your name across my backbone, stretch my skin across a drum Lock me up on Pinchcut Island, from now to kingdom come For I'll eat your Nordic dumpling like a juicy Spanish plum Even dance and you get on pipe if you'll only give me rum Your name across my back, but stretch my skin across a drum. Lock me up on Pinch Gut Island from now to kingdom come. For I'll eat your Nordic dumpling like a juicy Spanish plum. Even dance and you get on, but if you'll only give me rum, give me rum. You understand how this is done? Yeah. Are you mystified completely? <laughs> huh? Yeah. Do we do now if you didn't know me as your dad and you saw this, would you want to go paint with rum? Sure. <laughs> if I had rum. <laughs> okay. Now I don't know. Maybe you can do a kid's version. I mean you're not a little kid, but I think you can paint with Coca-Cola or something like that. <laughs> Take a camera break for a second.